I'm not a lawyer, but we have to talk about day 13 and the Karen Reed trial because what? So at the end of day 12, Colin Albert comes up to testify. He is the nephew of Brian and Nicole Albert, who again are the owners of 34 Fairview Road. Also, shout out to the creator who made this diagram because it's amazing. Now, although he was at the house the night of this incident, he was left off of all of the police reports as having been there because according to the testimony that we've heard so far, he left a little after midnight, which is just when all of the adults were coming back from the waterfall. So they figured he didn't count. All right. So here are some of Colin Albert's direct examination. It was my cousin Brian's birthday. So I went over to celebrate for a little bit with him. And do you recall about what time it was that you arrived at the house on Fairview? Between 10.30 and 11 at night. Your plans were concerned as far as leaving the house. Who, if anyone, did you reach out to, uh, to to get a ride from? My friend, Ali McCabe. Now, Ali McCabe, as far as uh, who is that to you? It is my cousin's cousin. So not technically my cousin, but we're close and like we do family events and stuff like that together. I got a text message from her that says I'm here. Um, as I was walking out, I saw my uncle Brian and my aunt Nicole. They were coming in. I just said, um, I'm going home, my mom wants me home. I love you guys, bye. Pretty sure it just started snowing at that time, around that time. Now, as you were outside of the house walking to the car and after the car sort of backs out of the driveway and, and leaves, did you observe anything abnormal or unusual outside of, of your uncle's house that night? No. And so you drive home and you go uh, to your, your house. Um, I always um, tell my mom and my dad that I'm home and usually go up to their bedroom, give them a hug at night, tell them I love them and then go down to bed. And did you do that on that occasion? Yes. I want to say around 12:20. And how would you describe Mr. O'Keefe from your perspective, as, as far as how would you describe him as a person? A nice guy, a good guy. At any point in time in the evening of January 28th into January 29th, 2022, did you see Mr. O'Keefe anywhere? No. Um, at 11:54, I texted Ali and said, "You can get me now." Period. At 11:54, I texted her again and said, "If easier." At 11:55, Ali texted me back and said, "Okay, I am driving people home now." At 11.55, I said a word. And then at 11.55, I said, get me after. At 11.55, Ali wrote back at KK. And then at 12.10 a.m., Ali wrote here. And at 12.10 a.m., I wrote back, okay. Now, Mr. Albert, just one last question. When it came to your arrival at uh, 34 Fairview Road on the evening of, uh, or the early morning of January 29th, when you were leaving, um, beyond your Uncle Brian and your Aunt Nicole, um, did you see anybody else uh, Anybody else older than yourself or anybody else uh, related to uh, that group uh, come into the house that evening? No. Now, before we get into Cross, because it's going to be interesting, a little heads up. I did a watch party with my Patreon, so the videos are a little bit different, but just bear with me. Did you talk to Allie before her testimony? No. When's the last time you did talk to Allie before she testified? I don't remember. Give me an idea. She's one of your best friends. A week ago, a day ago, a month ago. I don't remember. Could it have been a year ago? I do not remember. Your testimony is you were not instructed to say, I don't remember. You just literally don't remember. Correct. It's an issue with your memory, not an instruction that you receive. Correct. Right. But you do remember two and a half years ago, you left 34 Fairview at 1210 uh, a.m. Correct. Who's Courtney Proctor? My, um, my, she's friendly with my aunt. I just, I know that they're, fr they're pretty, pretty friendly. I'd say we we're more close when I was younger, not when I got older. You were the ring bearer in Courtney Proctor's wedding, were you not? Correct. So when you say we're friendly, but not that, or we're close rather, but not that close. You were actually close enough to be a member of her wedding party when she was married to her now husband, correct? When I was younger, correct. So for at least a decade, your family and the Proctor family has been close enough such that you and Albert were in her wedding, correct? Correct. And who's Courtney Proctor's brother? Michael Proctor. And is Michael Proctor in the photograph that you're looking at? Yes. You consider the Proctor family close to your family? Yeah. You were never interviewed by the Canton Police Department in connection with this case, correct? No. How many times were you interviewed by the Massachusetts State Police in connection with this case? Once. And that was in July of 2023, correct? I don't remember exactly when it was. Who conducted that interview? Mm, Michael Proctor and one of his partners, I believe. I don't Michael, remember. Michael Proctor was the lead investigator, correct? Correct. That's the same Michael Proctor that appears on the far left of the photo of that wedding party, correct? Correct. You were asked yesterday about certain texts with your cousin, Allie. Correct. Allie is obviously family. Yes. But she's more than family. She's also a good friend of you. Correct. Uh, as a matter of fact, she's one of your best friends. Correct. But texting is pretty common between you and your friends. Yes. Texting is certainly common between you now that we've already seen evidence of that, right? Yes. When you reached out to her for a ride, uh, there were like eight text messages back and forth just, just for a pickup. And that's because you said that uh, it's common for you guys to text back and forth. You just texted her, hey, you can get me now. Is that right? Yes. And then if you scroll down a little bit, after the end of that text stream that ends at 12, 10 a.m. and says, okay, you see the next date? 
February 20th. That's nearly a month later. So there was a gap after January 29th, 2022, when you found out that a man had ended up dead on your uncle's lawn and you and Ali did not text each other for a month, not once. I don't think that's correct. So where are those texts? We text on other platforms too. So I'd say other apps. So is there a reason why you decided for the next month to just switch platforms to maybe Snapchat? No reason. We go back and forth, I'd say, between platforms texting. Isn't it true, Mr. Albert, that you either switched platforms or deleted the texts because you did not want your text communications with Ali McDade to be discovered? That's not true. So where are those communications? I do not know. Hours and days and weeks following the death of John O'Keefe, your communications with your best friend, Ali, the person who gave you a ride home that night, they're just gone. I'm not sure. Don't remember. I don't remember that. Do not remember that. Don't remember that. No, I don't remember. Because you I do not remember. I do not remember. Do you remember anything about this case? Objection, Your Honor. I'll withdraw. <coughs> you were shown a photo yesterday of you in February 2022. Correct. And he said he wanted you to pay special attention to your face and hands and extremities. Yes. You said no. In that photo, absolutely nothing unusual in February 2022 about you, your face, your hands. I want to draw your attention to February 26th, same month, less than a month after the incident. You were at a place called Fenway Johnny's with your buddies, weren't you? Do you see that photograph that's uh, being displayed? Yes. Are you in that photograph? In the middle. I want you to take a look at your right hand. It's cut up. And on February 26th, less than a month after the incident at Fairview, that's what your right knuckles look like, correct? Correct. I was um, at a party, my a house party my senior year, and it was, I remember it being icy out, and I was, it was like a, it was kind of like a steep hill of a driveway. And I was walking up the driveway and I slipped down the driveway and I tried to catch myself, but I had something in my left hand. So I tried to uh, brace myself with my right hand and I ended up sliding a little bit down the driveway. Uh, if I remember, it was either my phone or, or a beverage. So you fell onto what, pavement, asphalt? Yes. And you braced yourself when you fell your entire body weight by putting your right hand down in a fist and you injured your right fist, just the top of the knuckles on your right fist when you fell down. Correct. Those injuries to your knuckles look an awful lot like the type of injuries that you would get. In a Objection, fight. Your Honor. Sustained. You ever been in a fight, sir? Other than with my brothers, no. You've never been in a fight? Nope. Your entire life? Other than with my brothers, no. You right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. You box? Nope. I'm sorry, you, you don't box? Nope. You've never boxed? Never. Any other cuts or scrapes or injuries from that fall? I don't remember. So at this point, the judge excuses the jury to, to allow Karen's defense team to play some videos of Colin Albert and then ask him questions about those videos. This is your warning. I usually bleep out curse words, but I'm gonna let these ones ride for effect. Here we go. Mr. Albert, you stay right where you are. Um, we're going to see a couple of short videos and then um, Mr. Jackson will ask you questions and then Mr. Lally will ask you questions. Yo, your boys. I will beat all your asses. I promise you, I will fuck you all up. Pull up, bitch. Okay, and the next one, please. You're a bitch, bro. Fuck you, now fuck you, you pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah
boxing again. Hit in the bag, yeah. Just working out, right? Yep. Didn't have any injuries on your left hand, though, did you? No. So only your right hand gets injured over and over and over and over again. Not your left hand. I'm not sure. The jury comes back in the courtroom, and that entire exchange that you just watched is then repeated in front of the jurors. Then the defense wraps up their cross-examination, and the prosecutors do a little bit of redirect. Now, the other photographs that you were shown today at some sort of uh, bar establishments, uh, were those taken before or after uh, the time at uh, your uncle's house when Cousin Jack came home from work? After. Questions you were asked about injuries to your cane. Um, those are two separate incidents, one in February when you slipped on ice, is that correct? Correct. And one in July when you had uh, struck a heavy bag, correct? Correct. And when you struck a heavy bag and got sort of injuries on your hands, uh, were you wearing anything on your hand when you hit the heavy bag? Nothing, nope. Have you received any sort of training in boxing, taking classes, anything like that? Never. So it's something you do as part of your workout, correct? Correct. And you're an athlete, correct? I'd like to say so, yeah. You played sports in high school, correct? Yeah. And at least at the beginning of college, you played sports in college, correct? Correct. Now, as far as those uh, videos uh, that you were just shown, um, how old were you? Around 16, I'd say around 16 years old. Um, so you believe it was sometime in your sophomore year of high school? Yes, that's what I believe. And so that would have been a couple of years before um, your senior year of high school, uh, which you were in in January 2022, correct? Correct. Do you recall who you were referencing in those videos? Um, an inv advantage club hockey team. And did you know any of those people? Nope. Was this just you sending them videos, or was this some sort of argument or something going back and forth? It was an argument going back and forth. Do you recall what the argument was about with this other group of kids uh, from this club hockey team? Yeah, um, it was the girls in our friend group, a couple of the girls in our friend group, like hung out with them a few times. So like my all my guy friends got a little salty about it. So that's why we kind of sent videos back and forth. And at any point in time, did your friend group and this club hockey team ever meet up at all? Never. Child, I know that baby was happy to get off that stand. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but I guess we'll see.